<laughs> Although there are days when I'm just like, Ugh. I'll buy a diesel and shut up. <laughs> so that was, that one thing. did catch my eye, but I've got to say, you know, more than. That's a million kilowatt hours, which is enough yeah. to run a large part of the country. Welcome to Big Motoring World Camberley, where today we have a very special visitor. We are joined. <laughs> by Mr. Robert Llewellyn, who is the star of everything electric. You might recognize him from Scrap Heap Challenge and now Zap Heap yes, Challenge. Yeah. And if you go probably a little bit further back, he's your favorite robot, Crichton from <laughs> Red Dwarf. Robert, welcome Thank you. to Big Motoring Thank World. Thank you, I'm really impressed. No, it's amazing what you're doing. Very good. Thank you. Well, we'll take that and laminate yeah. it yes. and, uh, <laughs> and put it into our marketing material. Um, but. I have but three questions for okay. you today, which are hopefully should be fairly simple. Yeah. Um, you have been in the electric vehicle world for an awfully, awfully long time. Well, since yes. you were but, well, 15 and now you're 30. Yeah, thank you. Yes, 15 uh, years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is it about EVs that, that piqued your interest and, and keep you interested for such a length of time? I think the, the, I, there is a turning point that happened a few a few years ago when I had a Nissan Leaf on a loan, like a, a press car. Yep. And I f filled it with, from the solar panels on my roof in a really crude way. I only <laughs> plugged it in when it was sunny. It took two days, but it went from very low to 100%. Fair enough. And, uh, and then I drove it to a friend's house where he's got, and he's had it for years, a water mill that's been converted to generate electricity. Wow. And so I drove, I don't know what it was, like 57 miles, just about made it in the, yeah. the old Nissan Leaf, <laughs> plugged it in at his house, had lunch with him, chitty chatty, you know, did some filming and stuff, and then drove home and I went, that is not possible in any of the technology we have today. You know, you don't no. have your own oil refinery yeah. and your own drilling rig. Yeah, yeah. And, expensive you know, endeavors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or you'd have to make really complex, uh, which we're starting to do now, some sort of new fuels that are mm. being developed. But back then it was important. And I just thought that is really different. It's, it's nothing was imported to, to yep. produce that fuel. It wasn't bought in on a ship and refined and used and all that. And it came from that local, and I went, that is, this is extraordinary technology that is a big shift. It's not a slight adjustment. Yeah. You know, I think of hybrids, which I, I had Prius for a long time, mm. brilliant transition vehicle, but it feels like that's like a step at. Yeah. It's basically a petrol car that's <laughs> yeah. got a big battery and quite a lot of other gubbins. It's really complex, whereas an yeah. electric car is a genuine, genuine sort of leap into a different area. And we've just seen uh, the fact that the, uh, the notion of using your car as an energy source when you're not yeah. driving it, yeah, yeah, it is becoming a in. real, real possibility. And that, I yeah. think we'll see that develop over the next few years. And that makes a huge, you know, you think in your own home, it makes no difference to the wider world. Yeah. You plug your car and you can run your house off <laughs> your car. Big deal. I mean, that's great for you. <laughs> but, but if you had a million cars that the grid could take one kilowatt hour out of each one, which is three, four miles range, yeah. not draining it. Yeah, not insignificant. And it, it, yeah. that's, a, that's a million kilowatt hours, which is enough yeah. to run a large part of the country. Yeah. You know, that's when it changes and you go, so you've charged that when it was cheap and, and you weren't using it. Yeah. And you're selling it when it's really expensive and you need that you need to be able to cover that demand. So those sort of things. Keep you going. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although there are days when I'm just like, uh, I'll buy a diesel and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I mean, the technology is... is well, it's changing as well. That's yeah. what I find exciting. Yeah. It's yeah. really moving on so rapidly. And keeping up with that is incredibly... It's exciting and exhausting. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, you do a good yeah. job at it, let's be honest. Well, so, um, which moves me smoothly. Just noticed that we've just walked past a lovely, <laughs> a lovely collection. line of amazing cars, yeah. Yeah, well, we try. If you, this is a tough one because yeah. we, I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, about seven here. Yeah. Uh, possibly more. My well, maths is a little off. Um, eight. There's eight. Is it eight? Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> um, if you had to pick one, yeah. And I know that's a that's a tough spot. This to is pick a tough you. one. Um, but if you had to pick one, which one of the we've got an EX30, yeah. we've got Mini, we've got the Cooper Born, the all Mustang. the way through here, yeah, the Mustang. Yeah. Lovely. Very nice. Um, Hyundai, which yeah. one would you choose to drive away from? But when I walked in and I saw the E up, the Volkswagen E up, yep. which was one of my favorite uh, fairly early cars to drive. So it's a converted petrol car. It's got yes. all the compromises that you can possibly have in an electric <laughs> car, not very much range, but I love the simplicity of it. So it had, it was very analog, Yeah. you know, and if you wanted a sat nav, you have your phone. And it's, I think it's got a built-in clip for your phone, isn't it? Perfect. That's part yeah, of yeah, the car. Exactly. Yeah. So that was, that one thing. did catch my eye, but I've got to say, you know, more than. 
Volvo. Right. Volvo. I mean, I have okay. no okay. preference. <laughs> correct answer. That's, that's probably the correct answer. Manufacturers. Correct answer. But the Volvo and the Mustang, I mean, two of the car, like the Mustang, I was really impressed. I, what, I just thought, this is going to be no, no good at all. I don't yeah. think, you yeah. know, before I went in it, yeah. and then I drove it for a week, had one for a week, and I okay. went, this is an amazing car. Okay, so it's between, yeah, the Mustang yeah, and the X30. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but or, the, if I was sensible, it would be the E-Up. Yes, okay. <laughs> but then I'd only drive round the corner to the shops. Yes, fair enough. <laughs> okay then, well in that case, I will ask you the following question in front of the Mustang. Okay. So, although I do, I will say I love the E-Up. Yeah, it does look gorgeous. It's yeah. a bit of, it is a bit of me. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, there's lots of lots of things are said, and, and lots of people talk about moving away potentially from an internal combustion-driven yeah. car into an EV. We all know that actually choice is probably the yes. most important thing, and your yeah. lifestyle and how you drive day to day. Yeah. Um, if I was, say, someone who sat on the fence, I'm, yeah. I'm currently driving a take your pick, a, a diesel Focus, yeah. um, and I'm thinking about moving into a into a, a, a Mustang Mach-E, for example. What would you say to someone who's thinking, well, I'm not quite sure, what's, what's your one kind yeah. of, not sales thing, but your one bit of advice actually? Maybe? I mean, I think primarily it's have a go in one, if you yeah. can, and that's, yeah. I mean, I'm very proud to say that's one thing that we facilitate with our live events, but, yeah. you know, that's only if you're in the area and you've got the time to do it. But I mean, it, it's the experience of it. It, 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 and I've heard this so many times now, Oh, I got on the electric car and I drove it and I realized, oh, it's a car. <laughs> it's not like some magic carpet that flies you around. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just a car. Yeah. And uh, it drives exactly the same, but it's just quieter, smoother. You know, it's like if, you, if you've driven an automatic, it's like yeah. that, only there's no gear changes. Yeah, it's like a Rolls Royce. So it's the, yeah, it's very, very quiet, very price smooth. Price and yeah. they have, they, people are always blown away by the acceleration. It's much, yeah. much uh, firmer. I mean, you don't have to use it but if it's it's there if you want to and the really fast electric cars are terrifying i can't even drive them i mean oh, they're yeah. so the naught to 60 in under two seconds is yeah. faster than the formula one car it's pretty so quick. insane it shouldn't be <laughs> yeah. allowed on the road but the and i think the thing is the the anxiety of you know the the, the we've been told since then since about 20, 2008, yeah. range anxiety, which yeah, I yeah. won't go into where that came from, but it came out of a marketing, yes. General Motors marketing yeah. department. Yeah. Uh, you will get it the yeah. first time you drive. Because oh, yeah. everybody, you go, oh my God, it's going to run. What happens when it runs out? <laughs> you go, well, it won't run out. Drive it home and plug it in and, yeah. uh, or plug it in somewhere and you'll find that it's perfectly right. Yeah. And I think the other one is people assume because the only experience we have is maybe our phones or laptops, yeah, you do have to plug them in every day. You don't plug a car in every day. You plug yeah. a car in once or twice a week, if that, you know. And so it's much, the, the stress level, as, as you use one, it goes down and down and down until it's non-existent, yeah. you know. And, then, and now, for instance, from here, you can drive anywhere in Europe really easily with rapid chargers and the cars now have more sophisticated software so they tell yeah. you where the charger is yeah. if, if it's available how much it costs how fast it yeah. is all those it's things. like driving around in a warm cuddle that wants to look after yeah you, yeah sometimes. so it's i mean yeah. all that you know we, i drove to italy this year and honestly the most anxiety thing is where's the toilet yes of course <laughs> number one number one where, can i get a, can two, i get a coffee yeah. and a baguette <laughs> yeah. um, amazing well Thank you very much. So we do have to release you because yes, I've got to you go. are busy. <laughs> I'm a bit busy. It is, it is everything electric, uh, this amazing event uh, at Farnborough uh, International, uh, and we've stolen you, actually. And it's an event that a Big Motoring World, we're incredibly proud to be a part of. We are the, yeah. uh, I think to, I'll say it right, we are the official EV test drive experience sponsor, uh, and Absolutely. it's something that we are incredibly Amazing. proud to be part yeah. of. Uh, and people can do exactly what you've just said. Yeah. They can experience not just cars that are used EVs from Big Motor World, which of course you should try out, yeah. um, but you've got so much choice, and choice Huge is fundamentally choice yeah. what it's about. Because at Big Motor World, we're big on choice, and we're big on what matters to you. Mm -hmm.